Hey all and welcome back for another Health Icons Patreon Quick Look. Today, I'm being a bit cheeky and heading down the uh, the Quick Look list to uh, try a, a more recent tile. This is Devil May Cry 5 for the PlayStation 4. And uh, Tanner told me this starts up right away, so we're going from uh, the desktop here. And uh, I'm quite excited, actually. I've heard nothing but good things. It, this is another ballpark hit for Capcom. They've been on the up and up so much, and these games are so fun. Like, there was Monster Hunter World. I think that was like the start of their like mini new renaissance. What other games would you say were included in the... Well, right before Monster Hunter World was uh, Resident Evil 7 there. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, the, the first person one. Uh, then we had Resident Evil 2. Yep. We also had Mega Man 11. Uh, we have... What else? I think I think that's about it. There's not as many, but they're real good ones. Mm. Now, I've played Mega Man 11. We have a quick look to do on Resident Evil 2, so I'm very much looking forward to uh, X giving it to me and uh, shitting myself while I do so. But in the meantime, our frustration is getting bigger. Something, something, Devil Trigger. And uh, interestingly, uh, you know, these two games releasing near each other... Uh, for those of you who don't know, Devil May Cry started as the original prototype for Resident Evil 4, which then they were like, this is getting a little far away from our zombies, let's turn it into something else. Yeah, and thus Dante was born. Yes, or as he was called in the original version, Tony Redgrave, which I am happy they changed his name. Yeah. Can you imagine everyone being like, there he is, the coolest dude around, Tony. Mm. Uh, the screen may look different depending on the angle you view it from. Uh, we recommend playing while directly facing the screen. Uh, Alright, how am I doing this? It's one of those uh, brightness tests. You know how they go. And I do like how they, they let you start with it. They're like, you need to be in the perfect experience from the get-go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Wow, there is a lot of stuff here. Spoiler filter. Ooh, interesting. I was looking at it, and basically what it says is it will not show you any spoilers. Also, I would recommend playing on human, honestly. Yeah. And the director said it's okay. Uh, don't use auto assist, though. Okay. Yeah, there we go. The director said, um, don't worry if it's your first time playing on human difficulty. He said that it's still a perfect experience, and there's some people who would look at that and say, bah, but I think for, for getting started with a Devil May Cry game, getting all the, uh, you know, the abilities and stuff starting on human works pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me, Dante, from DMC Devil May Cry. Ah, uh, you might actually be wrong, though, along with all the games journalists who were saying the same thing. Man, what the fuck were they fucking thinking? That is a solid title screen. Is it going to boot straight into gameplay here? Sadly, no. Ooh, you get a history of DMC. That's kind of like Kingdom Hearts in a way. Yeah, it's it's a short little video that just goes over the plot for those who don't know. It's under language. Ah, I see. You never really know with games, honestly, because they change it every second. Why is that off by default? Uh, t minus ten points. I'm sorry, Tanner. I'm a man of principle. The only reason why I'd say it's off by default is because it's one of these things where they're, they are going for more of a cinematic angle, but that doesn't mean that it should be off by default. Again, when I was a game tester, I always said we should have them on by default, and, and the company said, no, we're trying to avoid that. Damn you, EA! Well, whatever. I would give my history with DMC, but the only bit of it I played is the prologue of free, and I suck complete shit at that, even on easy. Volk puts me to shame in that regard. He uh, did some runs for us. I think it was during the Sony fun. Uh, he played uh, DMC free, I think it was. He did pretty well. I think it might have been his first go on it, his like, blind run. DMC 3 is real difficult. Uh, this game is definitely uh, about in the middle. It's not the easiest. It's not DMC 2. That one we don't talk about. Uh, but it's definitely no 3 or 1. So really, are there, like, besides DMC 2, which is more monotonous than outright bad, are there any bad games in the Devil May Cry franchise? Um, arguably DMC, the spin-off that's not going to be talked about too much. Well, um, well, if we're talking story, then maybe. I've heard nothing but good things about the gameplay, especially on the 60 FPS version. 
Yes, yes, the updated version was a lot better. The original version, not so much. But uh, speaking of, this guy here, Morrison, is actually from another piece of Devil May Cry media. He's actually from the DMC anime, uh, which is really interesting that it's uh, canon to this. Yeah, we have actually covered the first episode of that for a Patreon TV com. Morrison was white in that, so I don't know if it's still canon or not, but whatever, demon magic, I suppose. Well, there, there are actually more references to the anime in this game, which are really surprising that they're they're making it uh, so known. Uh, they actually threw it up on the US uh, PSN store the entire season for free, so uh, go grab that, like, right now, before it goes away. Big fan of uh, Johnny Young Bosch as uh, Nero, and Ruben Langdon, my boy, as Dante. You should not underestimate and uh, we also have uh, Adam Driver here. Oh, really? <laughs> Right no, it's not. It's not. You it looks like him, though. <laughs> he looks so much like Kylo Ren. Mm, a little bit. I'm leaving. All right. Well, see you then. I suggest you do not fall behind. I love his little thing he does there. There he goes. Zip zoom. <laughs> hey, he's away. He's gone. Okay. All right, so I guess this is going to be our tutorial, Demon Land. I love when games just throw you into the thick of it for a tutorial. God of War is very good with this. It's definitely way more interesting than uh, just putting you into a basic room and, you know, saying, here's how you play the games. Like, no, learn to play. Learn to play on your own. Because, I mean, like, it's obvious, but the way a game starts is going to influence how you view the rest of the game, which might be why some people... Got a bit turned off Kingdom Hearts 2 with that Roxas tutorial. And, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 starts much faster as a result. I was actually terrified of Kingdom Hearts 3's start, thinking it's like, are we going to have like a an eight-hour tutorial as another character again? Uh, I'm walking, I'm running, I'm running, I'm walking. Oh no, how do I jump? During a jump, press X near a wall. Look okay. her. You got the Mega Man X wall jumps here, though only one. Oh. Speaking of, you can actually get the Buster as a, uh, a pre-order bonus, I believe. Uh, yeah, and it also switches out your jump animation to be Mega Man's, like, Aww. arm out, leg out thing. Uh, it also gives you the Mega Man death, and it gives you the Mega Man warp in when you're starting a level. It's really cute. Alright, <clears throat> let's see if I haven't lost my action game touch, which is to say I never had the touch to begin with. Well, the good news is this is very basic right now. You only really have two things you can do, which is uh, shoot with the square button and melee with the triangle button. Okay, red orbs. Magical stone of crystallized demon blood. Exchange these for new weapons and skills or use them for revival. You shouldn't really need to be using them for revival if you're doing it properly. Uh, you know, but it's it's the option is there for people when they're first playing. That's the nice thing. It's hard, but it gives you the options to, you know, succeed on your first attempt and then get better there. Yeah. So the way that combos work in this game is, uh, depending if you're locked on or not locked on, you will have different attacks, and depending on uh, if you're pushing forward or holding backwards, uh, as well as your timing. I didn't even realize this game had a photo mode. Oh, come on, it's a AAA game in 2019. It's gotta have a photo mode. Uh, I was trying to see if I had um, the fucking Mega Buster, because I did pre-order the game, and it came on the day, so uh, kudos to Amazon. Yeah, not like mine. Then I had to go to Walmart and buy it, and I didn't get my deluxe edition. Sad face. <sighs> yeah, sad face indeed, Tana. I'm the baby! Gotta love me! So I think this might be a reference to Monster Hunter, because that flying green bug there looks exactly like, I mean, aside from being a gross demon thing, uh, looks really like the uh, the vitality bugs that was in the recent Monster Hunter, and I wouldn't put it past them to make a reference here. Hmm, let's see. Uh, special moves, press R1 and L, L back, okay. Right, so that just- So basically when you're locked on, hold backwards from them and press the, uh, press the, uh, the attack button. Okay. Yeah. And that's how you do your launcher there. You got it. Now you really want to try and charge your gun and feel what it feels like to do your charge shot because it's the best. Okay. I'm holding it. 
and then you let go and it does it does the the charge shot and it does yeah. it like bursts into the enemy multiple times and it feels so good <laughs> don't expect no combo master videos from this here quick look but um i'm liking the aesthetic already everything about dmc5 has just impressed me from like the initial showing because i think there was a slight bit of worry i don't know maybe it's just me but people thought there was going to be another dmc4 incident which is a good game but i think it's bogged down by like bat tracking and the game almost being like rehashed halfway through so maybe there was a bit of apprehension but i think this blew everyone out of the water yeah dmc4 was definitely a game that needed more time in the oven considering this seems to have been in the oven for like four or five years we just learned about it only recently uh it seems really good also starring the dmc crew all i can think of is starring the troll slayers <laughs> It's right there, and even on the website, it labels like V, the mysterious one, Nero, the devil hunter, Dante, the legendary devil hunter. Together we make the DMC crew. Jesus. I'm just coin pustules. That's how I get down. So this really gets thrown in, like, at this point in the story, we don't know anything about what's going on. Like, this is just, you're in. Though there was, in Japan, a prequel novel that was put out for this game that uh, introduces a few plot points about it. That always fascinates me. Just like companies willing to spoil stuff. I don't know. Or spoil it for one country alone, and the West doesn't get it. <laughs> I think on the tier of spoiler stuff is like, tired novels and then Lego sets right at the top. Oh, it's Lady. I like Lady. Lady's great. What about Trish? Does Dante still have his mummy issues? Well, the good news is Dante and Trish were, like, never a thing. They're just friends, because otherwise that'd be weird. Well, looks like this won't be a total waste of time after all. Mastodon, huh? Hey, hey, get it? Jackass! Did your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? He's developed a little bit of an attitude since fall. Ah, uh, he's kind of always been like this, Sorry, but it's definitely... He's feeling more cocky is what it is. Even though, as you can see, he's missing an arm. Alright then, let's take down uh, Sauron over here. Okay, so this guy's a little bit difficult, but I expect you to beat him on your first try. Okay. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Jesus! So you got uh, evading on your X button with a direction. Uh, you got your um, jumping, you got your combos. Uh, he can slow down time and fire lasers and stuff. I'm assuming I'm meant to be, like, going after, um, the, uh, the crystal and whatnot. Yes, you can even jump up there and attack it. Ah, I see. Gotta get close, Tom. Gotta get close, dodge! No. You took a little bit of his health off, as you can see. Charge it up and kaboom. Alright, alright, sufficiently crazy so far. Nah. Okay. It's okay, don't worry about it. Little bit of time controlling powers. Again, at this point, we have no idea who this guy is, what he's doing, but he's uh he looks real cool, and all we know is that apparently. Quote, he's the guy that took Nero's arm. Ah, I see. Back off a little bit. Give him the shooty shooty bang bang whenever possible. There we go. Youch. No, 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 just keep going, you're good. You're good, don't worry. Hmm. Let's see how long it takes Tom to, to learn that it is an unwinnable boss battle. <laughs> well, I've never been the smartest lad in the world. It was, it was around the time when I was on this guy for about three minutes, and I realized I haven't done a lick of damage, so I'm like, I could probably just die here. <laughs> yeah, whatever, come on, kill me! There we go. I was like, man, I am bad at this game, and then I'm like, oh wait, no, you're supposed to. 
not bad at the game, I'm just bad at like not recognizing obvious signposts for unwinnable boss. Whoa, this is totally my scene. What you don't see is he's listening to uh, AirPods playing some grunge music under his hair. Have you heard V's theme? I have not. I've only heard Devil Trigger. Okay, so I will let you know Devil Trigger is definitely the best one. Okay. The other ones are not as fun, uh, but I'm sure you might have heard the controversy with Dante's theme, right? Um, I've heard of it. I haven't listened to the song itself. Okay, so one, the, 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 the song when it was first revealed was really bad. It was awful. Yeah. Then it was revealed that the singer for it did some maybe not too good things to some people who might not have been have, uh, of age. Uh, so they actually uh, kept the band, because the actual music by the band was good, but the singing was awful. They replaced the singer, so it's better. Not the best, but better. Uh, but it doesn't matter anyways, because you can just get the old game soundtracks and uh, play them instead. In-game. Oh, in-game. Cool. What, are they like unlockables and whatnot? Uh, it was part of the Deluxe Edition, but it uh, it's basically DLC. Okay. Because if you didn't buy the Deluxe Edition, the Deluxe Edition is just like a $20 DLC to get all of the Deluxe stuff as, a, as an upgrade. So yeah, you get to uh, replace all the battle tracks uh, with whatever song you want from any of the Devil May Cry games, minus DMZ. Yes, thank you, V. I was there. Yeah, I was there when he, you know, took my arm. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Dante's uh, Devil Trigger form, mate? So, it's definitely, in my eyes, less uh, iconic than the one made by the Shin Megami Tensai producer that was used for other games and stuff, but it's a good way to sort of distance yourself from that and not worry about copyright with, uh, you know, being a guest design. It looks a lot like his DMC2 form, which timeline-wise, fits pretty well. Did he just go ahead and break Rebellion, though? He did. Ooh, maybe we'll be needing a new sword and whatnot. Maybe a motorbike that can turn into, like, fucking battle axes and whatnot. That'd be rad. That would be ridiculous. I mean, they did say in, when they were making Devil May Cry 2 that they wanted to make Dante fight with a motorcycle, but they couldn't accomplish it in that game. But could they accomplish it in 2019? I don't know. Kind of weird seeing all these NPCs around. The only time I've seen that before is a uh, DMC Devil May Cry. Certainly wasn't in free. He's buying time, but in general, it seems like one of the biggest upgrades of this game uh, console generation is: hey, we're putting NPCs in games that never featured NPCs. Hello, Kingdom Hearts Free, and it's all the better for it. I guess it helps that for a lot of this, uh, these guys are like super scanned in. Like, um, the faces of the characters look different because literally Nero's face is Johnny Young Bosch's face pretty much. Like yeah. they've they've mocapped them a lot. So getting in NPCs now is just a case of scanning in random people like uh, Patrick Seitz thrown in there. He's just a NPC because he's one of the voice actors for the game. Whatever works, you know. Is Paul Saint Peter in the game? I want to fight a demon with a voice. Like that, like it's just velvet across your ears. Now, aside from the uh, the trio of Power Rangers that we know, uh, I don't know anyone else other than Patrick Seitz. Oh, very good. A B for bad. Don't joke. In Beautiful Joe, B stands for bad, and that makes me so mad. It, it, I hate it. That game was one of the most difficult experiences of my gaming career. Fire Leo, right? Yep. Yep, he's having PTSD over there, I can hear it. I am, I am. I'm thinking about all those slows and fire Leo and oh god, but anyways, let's go. Are we gonna jump ahead in time or back in time? What do you think? Um, I'm gonna say back in time. Okay, we'll see here. Well, I mean, there's a giant hive, like, bopping about, so... And we get introduced to the best new character of 2019! One month later. Okay, never mind. Is Redgrave a uh, Resident Evil reference? No, that's if you remember what I said. The uh, original name for Dante was Tony Redgrave. Ah. So they took the took the last name and turned it into the city. 
I gotta say, I found Nico a little bit annoying in the first trailer. She has grown on me since then, but obviously, I gotta play through the game to really get the character. One thing I noticed from uh, my little bit of playing is they basically put all her funny one-liners in the trailers. Uh, in the actual game, she's way more toned down. That's cool. So yes, that's an interesting thing is that uh, her father was actually one of the villains of the previous game and it was one of those things that they just didn't really say, but it was just like in a press release they put in her last name and people were like, wait, that's the same last name as that one villain and they're like, oh yeah, it's just she's just the, the son of this villain from 4, whatever. And we're like, wait, what? That's, that's a big thing. Didn't her grandmother like work on Dante's guns or something? That's something I heard. Yes, so she's tied on both sides of her family. The the side of her mother made Dante's guns, and the side of her father fought Dante. Okay, well, she's in inherently tied to the DMC mythos then. Hell yeah. Look at that shitty grin. So good. And I was like, oh, okay, so we're going to get the, uh, you know, the, the trailer again. But no, it's so much more and so much better. God, I gotta watch Wally and Pat's playthrough of this now. Unfortunately, it won't be a blind LP, since Pat was like, Oh, I gotta play it right away. Oh, blind playthroughs are hard and whatnot. It's fucking DMC. What kind of puzzles are you expecting? Uh, no, don't, don't make jokes. DMC have Resident Evil-style puzzles, and I hate them. Oh, but, oh, here we go. <laughs> this is how you do an intro sequence. Oh man, I was like, I wonder if Bayonetta could be topped, and they do it. They do it so good. I'm really interested to see how uh, Bayo 3 comes along, because didn't like the director leave recently? He did, but the important thing, the cinematography guy for cutscenes, is the same guy between DMC4, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, this, and probably Bayonetta 3. They just keep getting the same guy for the cutscenes. Nice. When you gotta have a smoke, do it stylishly. It's just, it's, this whole thing is so stylishly done, and it's playing a new remix of Devil Trigger that's way more uh, electronic sounding. It's so good. Yeah, I thought it sounded a wee bit different. It's slightly slower as well, which is really throwing off my groove, but I will adjust. There's like on the on the soundtrack for the game, which has like 200 tracks. Like they they the soundtrack is a huge like discography thing. There's like eight versions of Devil Trigger because they know where to put in the money. Hell yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Right, my own Devil Trigger, which is to say, my fom is ready for a bit more action. So get back in the car and get back on the streets. And I love how they just keep driving like nothing happened. Well, they're professionals. Well, aside from the fact that her cigarette went out. You could light it with your gun, or is that more Dante spiel? Dante does not condone smoking, though. Dante does not smoke or drink. That's that's important things about his character, they said. They wanted Dante to be a cool guy. And yes, the game does not promote smoking or use of cigarettes. <laughs> That's such a Japanese thing to put in, too. Oh, that was great. Like, the five's not part of the fucking LED. The neon, that's amazing. It's so good, because again, Devil May Cry is the name of their, you know, their their workshop, if you will, that they do stuff, so it's just like, yeah, that's, that's, they're the mobile branch of Devil May Cry. Yeah, for sure. Alright, we got, to uh... What's going on? We got a taste of the action. But again, I just need more action right now. It's a very front loaded game in terms of plot, more than I realized. They really want you to get into the action there. They want it to be, you know. Because again, one thing that sucks to say about games now is for a lot of people, though, if they want to know what a game is about, they'll watch a video on it for the first, you know, couple minutes, a quick look, if you will. Um, and they want to see something good, right? So you got to put in that interesting stuff right at the beginning. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. This just regular Call of Duty military man is going to be shown what video games can truly be. Why are you being such an asshole, Nero? Just put your arm on and go to work. He's smarmy, but he I, I really like Nero's smarminess. It's the perfect balance. Oh, here we go. Here come line. Yeah! 
turning him into crew cut into one of the most uh, meme characters in this game. Hell yeah. How do you feel about the arm system in the game, right? I think it is a perfect evolution of the previous Devil Bringer gameplay, which pretty much only gave you a couple powers on your arm. This one's like, okay, let's have fun with it. Let's make a pre-order arm that is just a bunch of bananas. Uh, Nico's Devil Breakers are fragile, shattering if you take a hit while using them. Know when to use them sparingly, and when to go all out. Okay. It's important to note that the hands are consumables, pretty much. You can use them as much as you want, uh, but you can also use them to, say, burst away from enemies, or to, uh, you know, um, explode them with a super attack. So there's some interesting stuff you can do. I've got some cleaning up to do. So just pressing it on its own will give you the uh, give you the regular attack. Uh, holding it will give you a charged attack, which will break it. Um, and don't worry, you'll get gameplay right away. I was like, come on, I wanted to play when I did that. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. So this one is pretty much trying to replicate his original uh, Devil Bringer arm, which is because in the original uh, DMC4, it was just pretty much an arm to grab enemies from far away and either pull them towards you or pull you towards them. Uh, this one's the one that was made to replicate that. To kick demon ass. She's so good. She's she's the best. I love her. She is a bro, and that's the important thing. Uh, one of the DLC um, arms is a uh, a vibrator arm that they made to quote unquote cure tension for Nero's unseen girlfriend in this game, Kyrie. Oh, is Kyrie not in the game? Well, no, she's like well. I think, I don't know, I haven't gotten that far. Uh, I heard her at one point, uh, but I haven't seen her yet. Um, but, uh, like, she's in the game, but I just, we haven't seen her yet, personally. Oh, this is fun. Ouch. L1 will let you, like, burst away from enemies, which uses up one of your arms, uh, which is, you know, not the best, because you want to hold on to them. But it will let you get out of combos. Um, like I said, you can hold it for a super move. Uh, you can hold triangle for your, you know, charging up your stuff. There's a lot of good stuff here. Gotta remember when to lock on and when not to lock on some. Walk over any devil break you find to pick it up and equip it automatically. Handy dandy. So as far as I'm aware, the way the DLC arms work is that they just uh, make them become a drop. You know, the, you will get drops of them in the game, as opposed to just being, you know, um, one that you come pre-equipped with. Okay. Yeah, I can play video games, sometimes. Oh, hello. Gotta get the red orbs. I will say the red orbs are, because they're more kind of crystal-like, and they kind of blend in more, they're a bit harder to see. Yeah, well... Gotta have some challenge, make sure players are paying attention, you know? Uh, and this guy is the one you want to grab. He's full of the uh, red orbs there, so he's kind of a t uh, combo practice tool to get a bunch of free orbs. Okay, just jump down. He went behind you there. Behind you. Did he now? Motherfucker. Nope, not that way. Nope. Oh, I didn't even see him there. It's okay, don't worry about it. Lock on. Jump. Nope. Not in range yet. Still not in range. So remember you have your launcher on holding backwards with the lock on to send him up. Do some stuff. And one cool thing is the lock on gauge is also the HP gauge for them. So when you're locked on, the circle around them will show how much HP they have left. Which is quite useful for, say, you know, needing to know how much damage enemies have, because that wasn't a thing in previous De Devil May Cry games. There was no real HP gauge. You just kind of watch them watch them go down. I think they did have one, but it was like at the top of the screen. It wasn't as, as intuitive as this. Why are they collecting human blood? It's not just about... Keep moving, Tom. Keep moving and slicing. Moving and dicing. Right, not everything can be sliced. I'm slowly learning. Nope, it is not, sadly, Revengeance, Aww. though there is some stuff that it's like, reaches the same heights, it seems. We are never gonna get a Rising 2, and that's the greatest shame in video games. Yeah, sadly. But here we go, we got our first mini-boss! Neat. 
and they're going to teach you a really cool gameplay mechanic, but one that is uh, a bit difficult to get a grasp on. Don't worry if you don't uh, get it optimally right away, which is pretty much revving the engine on his sword. Kind of like a gun blade, except not stupid. <laughs> Ooh, some people are in the comments mashing angrily. Gun blades are so cool! Basically, you can rev it up with our uh, L2 there. Uh, you can only do one level right now until you level it up more. Uh, but it, it basically, it buffs your next sword swing. But the cool thing is, you can do it mid-combo. So you can do like slash slash rev slash to end your last hit of the combo with more power. Alright, so just attack the core, I suppose. Yep, think of it like Gradius. Nope. Watch out when they do the uh, the very nice flash animation. That's something that um, Bayonetta brought into the equation, is having the enemies give a big flashy tell when they're about to hit. Uh, that really improves this game. That's the thing about these... Um, oh, hey, you got a, a Savage Rank. Nice. nice. And the music starts bumping up, which is awesome. Yeah. The character action games all help each other. When one game innovates, the rest of them pick it up as well, which is quite useful. For, for, you know, advancing the genre. Oh yeah. Nice job. Thank you. I just hit buttons till I won. That's how I get down. That's where video games are. At least I got one S rank for a little bit. That was nice. Hey, you know what? Better than some game journalists. Hey yo! Oh. Can't play Doom. Can't fire at an imp. Of a such satire. What do you mean? so funny about the thing where it's like, the music isn't as good as in the previous games. Where's the lyrics? Where's the big bumping instruments? And people are like, you you, you gotta play well to get that music, you know? So journalists did not get it. Yamato did this. That's why I was gonna say Yamaro for a second there. I'm so used to it. No, Yamato there is uh, Virgil's sword. Ah. And, uh, one very powerful weapon that was once wielded by the legendary Dark Knight Sparta. I see. I have seen all of three, so I know all about um, the fucking Quantum Ranger playing Virgil. Don't get used to it. I can't watch clips can of, of any now? part of, uh, what was that? Time, Time Force? Force? Yeah. It was Time Force, yeah. I can't watch it now because it's just Virgil. Right there. That was Kyrie, I think, shouted. That was. Up here. <sighs> I'll try to save you some. Not. Oh, wow. Fucking got him, Nico. Don't throw the petrol thing down near the petrol. Sorry, I was so unamused by her safety antics, I forgot that a cigarette was called a cigarette. To be fair, these guys, they could survive any sort of accident. They're fine. They can afford to be a little little unsafe. Not Nico, she's a human. Well, but she's a very tough human. And Kyrie, yeah, she's also, but I guess whatever. Nero can take whatever is dished out at him. Hope you like loud talkers too, because you got a pair of those upstairs. I do like how when, when he thinks it's a hobo, he's like, yeah, no, come up, we got food. It's fine, come on up. That's kind of a nice part of his character. Ah, uh, my arm is reacting. You a demon. Who's gonna make the first move? Jesus. Did he just straight up rip it off? I'm confused, is this Virgil or not? I don't know, because it, it seems like it would make sense for it to be, but we heard that it's Urizen who's supposed to be, so the answer is I actually don't know. I have not got that far. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious myself. And there's the Yamato. I'm running out of time. Because the, uh, the Yamato was, I don't exactly remember how it works, but I think it was stored inside the original arm of Nero. Okay. Because, uh, do you know who Nero is, like, family-wise to the characters? Not particularly, no. Okay, so, it's not explicitly said, but it's, like, well, kind of is, but it's very, it's, it's not in the game's story, but Nero is the son of Virgil. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Because at, at one point during 4, he does get the Yamato. 
So the best way to think about it is, uh, you know, Nero here is Giorno. Okay. You know, he's, he's, even though he's a good guy, he's kind of the son of a previous bad guy, but he's on the right track and he has a mentor behind him who's helping him, you know, be the best guy he can be. Oh, very nice. Nice job, get that S rank. Gotta get that, that dough and whatnot. Alright, we're gonna head back to the main menu, because I feel that's enough of a quick look just to wet your whistles and whatnot, guys. This was DMC 5, and um, a very good first showing, I have to say. It took me a while to get used to the lock-on controls in conjunction with everything else, but otherwise, I'm impressed. The uh, aesthetics are amazing, uh, characters seem fun so far, and the combat, well, it's DMC, you're either going to like it or you don't. And thankfully, I like it. So, uh, Tanner, any last words before I something-something uh, devil trigger you? Um, all I'm gonna say is, boy, Capcom is back and I've never been happier. Also, if you want to get your own quick looks in, uh, we do have slots available. Be sure to go check out on, uh, on our Patreon there. It's links in the description. Check it out. We got stuff there. Hey. Um, we also have TV comms, movie comms, and all sorts of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, give that a check out if there's something you want us to look at. And maybe in the future it may turn into a full playthrough. But we do have some that we got to cover first. Hell yeah. So there's we'll, a... we'll get into those <laughs> later there. There is a big list. Just make sure you check with us just to make sure it hasn't been, like, selected and whatnot for a quick look. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Marcia Cuervo, for commissioning this. Here's everyone who's uh, currently pledged and whatnot. I can see myself returning to this, or maybe I'll just watch the playthrough and then come back to it, just so I know what to expect. I'm talking about Wooly's playthrough here, because I love a good Wooly playthrough. Who would have thought that Chewie and Fuckface at the end would be the hypest commentary combo out of the ex-Super Best Friends? Not I, dear viewers. Not I. We'll see you next time for another HFC Patreon quick look. Bye-bye. Ciao.